Coming up on Around Kern County, we're taking you into the 10th Annual Victims Rights March and honoring local crime victims and their loved ones. And the Kern County Library is expanding services at many of their branches. We're sharing details on the new hours when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. Our district attorney's office honored local victims of crime with their 10th annual Victims' Rights March. Anna Marie Odo has the story. Last week, our community gathered to pay tribute to their loved ones in partnership with our Kern County District Attorney's Office. The theme of this year's Victims' Rights March was options, services, and hope for crime survivors. The annual event kicked off with a resource fair where victims' families were able to connect with victim service providers and receive assistance. Hundreds of people gathered with signs and t-shirts representing the victims they were honoring while marching alongside our district attorney, Cynthia Zimmer, in downtown Bakersfield. This year's theme is called Options, Services, and Hope. Any type of crime negatively impacts a victim, but victims of violent crime suffer the most. So to victims of violent crime, to you, I would like to say, we know that many of you live daily with grief, sorrow, and disbelief. We want you to know that we deeply care about you and your loved one, and it is our duty and our honor to fight for justice for you. Historically, this march has been an outlet for the community to share memories of loved ones and unite for justice. And this year, the DA's office proudly announced their plans to build a memorial monument outside their office, which will commemorate all local victims of violent crime. May is Older Americans Month, and our Department of Aging and Adult Services is working to bring awareness and support to people of higher age groups. The theme of this year's campaign is Powered by Connection which focuses on the profound and healing impact that meaningful connections have on the well-being and health of older adults. We are always worried about the, the social isolation. So a lot of seniors are out there that are not able to get access to services. So we wanna always encourage anybody who has a family member, a neighbor, someone that they have noticed that's just kind of being by themselves, contact our office and see if there's some services we might be able to engage them with. And so it's looking at ways to get people connected back into uh, socialization, getting people active, uh, looking at things that keep them engaged and using that knowledge and experience that older Americans have to, again, elevate our society. And, and it's about being connected. And it's not just necessarily the hello, it's that how are you doing going into that next dive that really lifts people's spirits and shares the fact that they are engaged and involved. Aging and Adult Services is also hosting a community resource fair for our seniors on May 18th. From nine in the morning until noon in their building's parking lot, located at 5357 Truxton Avenue in Bakersfield. They'll be offering services like document shredding, advanced healthcare preparations, giveaways, and so much more. Also, if you'd like to support our older adults, we're recruiting right now for service on our Commission on Aging and In-Home Supportive Services Advisory Committee. To apply, just visit our website at kerncounty.com. The Kern County Library is expanding their hours at some of their branches ahead of the start of summer. Beginning Saturday, May 4th, our community can visit the Boron, Kern River Valley, and Holloway Gonzalez Branch Libraries five days a week with a Tuesday through Saturday schedule. The library is proud to offer increased access to library services to members of these communities. The library is also expanding their hours at the Ridgecrest Branch Library, which will be opening an hour earlier Tuesday through Saturday starting May 4th as well. These expanded hours and increased services are thanks to funding by Measure K, Kern County's unincorporated public safety, vital services, and local control measure. This funding has allowed our library the ability to provide additional materials, programs, technology, and staff to residents, 
reinforcing our county's commitment to prioritizing literacy and creative learning opportunities for all ages. For more information on library branch hours and other services, please visit kerncountylibrary.org. And we're ending today with Public Works partnering with Caltrans District 9 to help our community look its best. They're hosting four Clean California Tire Drop-Off events on Saturday, May 4th to help residents get rid of old tires free of charge at local Kern County disposal sites. You can visit the Ridgecrest, Boron, Mojave Rosamond, and Tehachapi landfills from 8 in the morning until 4 in the afternoon. Please make sure all tires have rims removed, are not oversized, and tarps to avoid litter. As a reminder, these events are for residents, not commercial waste. For more information, please visit kernpublicworks.com. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our Submit a Story form. We'll see you right back here next week.